thank you for joining us. Thank you, Barry. Okay, so we're going to get straight to it. So we are talking about the Sunlam new disability benefit. On the list of things we're going to discuss for this evening, we're going to look at the need, which I think is important to understand the need for disability in order to position the new disability benefit. We also take a look at your current benefit that you have with Sunlam. So it's the old benefit versus the new elite disability offering. Then we're going to actually go a bit um, into detail on the elite disability and all the additional features. And then lastly, we're going to end up with why the upgrade uh, from the old to the new benefit. All right, so looking at the need for disability cover, disability cover is a core need and an essential benefit in a client's risk portfolio. It protects clients against the risk of losing their ability to earn an income due to illness or injury, and the impairment underpin protects clients against the cost of living with an impairment even if they can still work. So insurers need to review their benefit offerings from time to time to ensure that the benefits, features, and definitions are kept up to date. So taking a closer look, and it's important that we do this because our new disability offering has got the occupation as well as the impairment underpin, um, impairment underpin built in. So under the occupation definition of your benefit, it's a benefit which pays you a lump sum should you become totally and permanently unable to perform the normal tasks required of your own occupation due to illness or injury. And the impairment events underpin pays a percentage of the sum assured for a particular disability according to a set criteria described in your policy. It would include injuries such as losing your sight, hearing, having an arm or leg amputated, becoming wheelchair bound, and other incapacitating conditions. So living with a disability, we're going to take a look at income versus expense, but I would like to start off with a quote by Dr. Marius Barnard, who once said the outcome of a major health crisis is more likely to be survival than death, but having survived, the cost of living is greater than the cost of dying. So living with a disability requires a great deal of support, both physically as well as financially. And to name some of the expenses that can be incurred because of a disability, would include traveling costs. It will also include things like additional domestic help, also the possible need for assistance of a home nurse. Other, con other health conditions may also um, present itself, for example, depression, anxiety, which is the most common when one suffers a disability, reduction in income and future earnings, structural changes to your home and or vehicle, and I think one of the most important things about uh, disability benefits, once a client is disabled, you also become, to a certain extent, uninsurable. So we're going to take a closer look now at the old benefit versus the new disability benefits. Right, so currently you would have a functional impairment plus disability for regular occup occupation. And what this will include is cover for occupation. So occupation, the client engaged in for income, immediately before the disability. And you'd also have a functional impairment event that's covered at between 25 and 100%. You would not have had the option for whole of life on your functional impairment plus disability for regular occupation. And your survival period before a claim is successfully paid out is 14 days without life support. So what does the new disability uh, benefit look like in a nutshell? So the elite disability, firstly, we are covering 100% for regular occupation. We are also covering impairment events, but we are not covering from 25 to 100. We are now covering from 5% events to 100% events, which means more opportunities to claim. But also what we've included in here is cover for paraplegia and quadriplegia, where the cover is not limited to 100% payout, but here we're boosting the cover payout to 125% and 150% res uh, re respectively. Under the impairment definition sets, we've actually combined the impairment events to now include not only functional, but we've added physical impairment events as well as accidental injury events. So your functional impairment or your impairment events on the new benefit has got more conditions covered than your old event. We also cover 
um, uh, events for a total hip replacement, knee, shoulder, and ankle replacements. On elective procedures, there would be a five-year waiting period. However, due to uh, any events due to an accidental cause, there would not be any waiting periods. We have now included an option for whole of life, so you can also now choose a whole of life option on the elite disability. And the survival period has now changed from 14 days to 10 days, but the 10 day survival period on the new benefit is with or without life support. So you don't have to be on life support uh, to on, the, on the 10 day survival period. What we've also included under the elite disability is additional special features, and these include extended disability benefit, a prosthesis booster, automatic child cover, future cover for young adults, and a temporary incapacity cover for accidental as well as non-accidental causes. So immediately with the two benefits side by side, you are getting much more benefits, much more events covered on the new disability benefit. So let's take a closer look at the elite disability benefit. What we're also going to do now is unpack some of these features and also show you what the layers are made up of under the elite disability. So firstly, as mentioned previously, you are covered for occupational disability for regular occupation. You have severe impairments covered at 100%. For example, the loss of vision in both eyes, paraplegia, arrhythmia with severe impairment. We are also covering less severe impairment events at smaller percentage. And here it's from five to 100%. For example, the loss of vision in one eye. And remember, we've now included our hip replacement, knee replacements, shoulder replacement, ankle replacements. But what we've also added under the elite disability is the boosted payouts. So boosted payouts, for example, the loss of a leg where the payout is 50% or arrhythmia with a moderate impairment uh, that pays out at 50%, these would, uh, these would now be boosted to 100% payouts. So if we look at the special features on the elite benefit, I've mentioned already the boosted payouts. But just to reiterate, various claim events have a higher payout percentage than um, under the elite benefit than other benefits in our range. If we look at the extended occupational disability, so here it's where we provide cover for an extended period of time that you're off work. So cover that absorbs the changes in occupation for an extended period should you choose to take time off to look after the children or find yourself in between jobs due to retrenchment. So in essence, from the date you are not working for whatever the reason might be, we will still cover you, uh, cover you under the occupation disability event for a period of 12 months. Taking a look at the prosthesis booster, here we pay a percentage of the cover amount of the main benefit for amputations, paraplegias, and quadriplegias. It's an additional amount that pays out, which does not reduce the main benefit. I would like to give an example at this point. So let's say, for example, you do have an elite disability benefit, and let's say your cover amount is a million rands. You had a, you lost your leg due to amputation, and let's just say for this, the payout, the payout on the loss of a leg is, let's call it 30%. So under your lead disability benefit, we would pay 30%, which is 300,000. Your cover reduces to 700. So you can still have other claims on there. But what will also happen is that your prosthesis booster would kick in. Your prosthesis booster is actually capped at 10 million or the cover amount, whichever is the smaller. So in this instance, we'll pay an additional 300,000 without reducing your elite disability. So total payout here, would be 600,000 for the loss of the leg, and your benefit will still be at 700,000. So that's the prosthesis booster. What we've also added is the temporary incapacity cover, and here we are covering accidental as well as non-accidental causes. We pay 10% of the cover amount, and we would pay this, uh, this 10% by looking at something called the official disability guide, where the expected recovery is three or two months respectively, even, and, and there's no need for permanence when claiming under this benefit. 
Under the built-in child cover, it's a benefit that can be claimed if a child of the life insured suffers any of a number of specified illnesses or injuries. We will not reduce the cover amount of the main benefit. The amount for the built-in child cover is capped at 10% or 500,000, whichever is smaller. So an example here is if we still use the same example of a million rand elite disability and the child meets the payment criteria or the event under the specified illnesses or injuries, we would pay 10%. So in other words, we'll pay 100,000. If you had 6 million rand elite disability cover, we will cap the payout at 500,000. So it's 10% or 500,000, whichever is lower under the built-in child cover. And then last but not least, under the special features, we also have cover, which is the future cover for young lives. So this is where uh, younger than 35, if the client's younger than 35, with no medical loadings or exclusions when applying for the disability benefit, they would have the option to purchase future debt cover on certain life events with no medical underwriting or just a declaration of health. Right, so if we look at the full picture and we look at what the elite disability looks like, so the elite disability as you can see, has got the cover for the occupational disability, the severe impairments at 100% as well as smaller percentages, the boosted payouts, plus the additional features versus what you would currently have, and that's your functional impairment plus disability for regular occupation, and you only have the basic covers here on occupation, functional impairment, 25 to 100% events, no whole of life options available, and a 14-day survival period without life support. So this is this is the new versus the old in a in a big picture. So what I'd also like to highlight is two of our additional features, which is the temporary incapacity cover as well as the extended disability cover. These uh, two features that's been added on to our benefits is actually the first in the market. So currently when it comes to lump sum disability benefits, one of the characteristics of these benefits is that it only pays on permanence. So by having the temporary incapacity cover, it also provides an opportunity where the client is disabled, but not to the point of permanence or does not meet the full event uh, definition. We will still look at the official disability guideline to provide 10% cover. And when we do pay the 10% cover, the, the cover as well as the premium will reduce by 10%. Okay. All right, in terms of the upgrades that are available, the offer that's currently in place is where you'd be able to upgrade to the new disability benefit on the same plan. And we're also allowing up to 120% of the current benefit to be upgraded. So why upgrade? I think it's important to understand that you can enhance your cover with market leading benefits and features. And remember, from the old to the new, the old benefits definitions that's currently sitting there is all carried over to the new benefit definitions, plus all the added impairment events that we've included in there together with the features. So there's also the strong new claim definition that also includes cover for uh, Parkinson's now as well as cancer related illnesses. We also have built-in features to ensure that you are properly covered. And then remember the medical underwriting of the benefit is limited. Uh, uh, it's, it's now offering limited health questions with no medical tests. So when you are upgrading from the old to the new, the health questions that you would answer is a limited set of questions and no medical tests are included. All right, so that's the, the elite disability benefits in a nutshell. Barry? Thank you, Ashona. Uh, I appreciate it. Right. So, uh, so Barry, from uh, my side, I just want to say thank you to Good for Sure for allowing me the opportunity to explain the new benefits um, as well as the upgrade opportunity. So if there's any questions from yourself, I'm happy to answer. Yes, uh, Shona, thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, due to the time constraints, uh, thanks. I think it, it gives us all a good understanding and it gives our clients a good understanding of what the new elite disability benefit entails and how they can benefit from the new elite disability. 
So um, as discussed, uh, all the advisors at good for sure will be in contact with the clients to discuss uh, this new benefit with them and see how that fits into their portfolio. So thank you very much. Thanks everybody for listening in this evening. Uh, good for sure will be in contact soon. And once again, we apologize for the mishap or the, the, the little glitch in the system. Uh, once again, it, it shows that it's live and it shows that it's real. Um, uh, we apologize. Uh, I think uh, I feel really embarrassed, to be honest, uh, but I'll probably get over it. And uh, hopefully my colleagues, Chris and Roll and Leon and other Leon and everybody at Good For Sure can, can uh, forgive me for this little glitch and uh, we can have a laugh at it. So once again, thanks for joining us and we'll be in contact soon. Thank you, Ashona, for joining us and, and sharing this very important information with our clients. Have a good yeah. evening, everybody. Yes. All right. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you, Ashona. Pleasure.